Hello, Katya here and you are so welcome to this tutorial. Today I have two wooden frames that I will give a, like, a little bit new look. They are already very gorgeous and the photos of them I have pulled off and there are like two hang hangers, a uh, little bit rustic. And today I will focus on dry elements. These dried flowers are from my garden that I picked and they are so beautiful. And you see what I have collected, like uh, some wooden stars, small wooden pieces, and uh, small pine cones, and also like uh, branches with some uh, flowers and tiny branches. And I also have some Christmas bulbs in, in my box. I really like these natural elements and I have like idea that add like these flowers in the background, uh, in the frames. So we see how it's going. Hope you will enjoy this tutorial. Uh, I have uh, these uh, gears and uh, things. Uh, metallics that I will use. But I start to paint my frames with clear gesso. Yes, today I will have clear gesso because I find these wooden frames already so beautiful. Uh, but I want to keep the, the colors in the background. So I paint them and uh, it will dry clear. And over the top, I can do anything I like because I haven't really decided what to do. Uh, I know I want to add like fine texture to the frames. So I will add uh, clear gesso to my frames. And here I will add uh, the gesso with the spatula. Some places a little bit more heavy and some places not so much because I want not to it be like same crackling. More crackle you add, more bigger cracks you will have. And I love this effect. It's just amazing to give like fine detailed effect. And it's dry and look at this effect fine crackles and a little bit uh, not totally matte on the top. Exactly how I want it. Now it's time to add some color and I start with the liquid acrylic paint and this is only for background painting uh, where I think I will have the elements. You can do this in the last end also but I want to like see if I'm on the right way. So I'm adding a little bit paint and spraying water to that it feels like it go natural, more dark on some places. Love the liquid acrylic paint. They are really so easy to use. Now I want to add like the uh, metallic paint sparks to add a uh, like little bit interest and a little bit more shine and it gives like I will have like a fine effect. I don't want them to be ginger colored uh, because I will add some water and I have it only like a really tiny orange effect to my frames, not too much. thin coat and now it's the fun part starts. It's time to decorate and I'm starting to using the steampunk steampunk gears and trying out how I want the composition um, and the gears will be like in the background and the base of the composition and I'm trying to find some balance and I have to make the project a little bit more dimensional 
dimensional, I will have the wooden pieces. And I will start to glue everything with heavy body gel. Uh, that's It's so amazing, the gel, because everything will stick and it will hold when it's dry. So here is the challenge to have the heavy body gel and not so much will go outside because I never add the gel with the, with the brush. Here I have like a silicone brush. Uh, you could have like a stick or something. Uh, and yeah, I don't want it to go too much outside. And hope you enjoy this tutorial. Give the video a thumbs up. And if you like the channel, please um, subscribe so you and click the bell button so you will have the notification. So please remember to give a thumbs up. It means a lot for the channel. Love the rustic steampunk gears. Yes. I love them. Uh, all the metallics from Finnabar are just uh, amazing. They are a large collection, so be sure to check them out. And you see me layering and layering here and there and uh, trying to find a composition, the wooden pieces to make it more dimensional and to add the, uh, the metallics on the top and uh, find like a composition to give like a balance. And uh, the amazing thing with the gel is that if you're not happy, you can pull it up and add even more and do things like that. And uh, yes, that's the fun part to playing around and you see me, I'm moving around the embellishment to find the right composition uh, because I want to keep like a lot of uh, the frames uh, shown to not overdo because I'm, I'm always overdoing and doing things a little bit too much, but I like it. And now I couldn't resist to add like the Christmas baubles. Oh, I couldn't. No way. You see me, I'm adding even some Christmas baubles. So this will be, they are not exactly like Christmas things, but I find these baubles in my stash, so I couldn't resist to use them. So you see me playing around and uh, all the small sticks, they are very tiny, but I want to be like uh, tiny details on my project. So let me know and please uh, give me a comment in the comment section. I read all the comments. Uh, uh, be sure to do that. And if you have any questions, I try to answer them for you. So hope you enjoy this tutorial and let me know what you want to the next tutorial be. Uh, it starts to be Christmas time, so I'm sure it's soon. Uh, there will be more videos about Christmas. And if you have any special wishes about Christmas, let me know. Okay, art stones. Yes, you can find them in three sizes and here are all of them. Mega, mini, and the normal size. I will have them all on my project. And to glue the uh, art stones, I will use the 3D glass gel. And here I don't have the heavy body gel because it will be like a little bit more fine detailed. I could use like soft matte gel also, but uh, 3D uh, glass, uh, the 3D gives little bit effect and it's all okay to have that, so it works fine. So I'm adding some places here and there, and you notice it's not so big area. 
and I start with the mega art stones and adding some of them, not all over, uh, not fill the entire area because I want the mix of the three different sizes. And I always start with the biggest one because they need like biggest surface to, to glued. And next uh, I will have the other middle size of the art stones and I sprinkle them all over. And I will also have the mini art stones at the end. And you see me, I'm adding even a little bit more because the mini will be like on the edges. And I'm adding a little bit too much on them. So mm, my table got really messy on them, but I don't mind that. Uh, I don't mind if it gets a little bit too messy, but I sprinkle a really a lot of the art stones all over uh, the, the gel. So I'm sure every piece where I add gel, there will be like an art stone. I'm carefully drying up and blowing some of them away. Because on the next step, you must be completely sure that everything is dry. Because now I will add like a shadow effect to my project and I'm doing that again with the burnt sienna. Yes, burnt sienna in the liquid acrylic, it's just my favorite. If you like like a vintage effect like this project is, like a vintage decorative frame, yeah, the burnt sienna is a must have. So the liquid acrylic paint, if you haven't tried it, yes, do so. Because you notice how easy it is. I'm pulling out, like with my brush, only some little bit paint. And uh, to not, so to be sure to not uh, spill any of the paint, I go directly in my uh, jar and using my brush and spraying some water to get the natural. And I really love the shadow effect on this project. It's amazing. And now before everything is dry, I only sprinkle a little bit. Oh yes, so tiny of the glitter. And here I check out if I will have the natural elements in the background. And oh yes, I find out no, no of the branches will be inside the frame. I want to clean it uh, like that. So instead I'm adding the natural elements in my clusters. It's like that when you create, you can have a vision and you change your mind during the process. And that's all right because the most important for me is the process and I had just great fun creating this and uh, I love this project and uh, it's a perfect gift. So thank you and uh, for watching this tutorial. Hope you have a great fun. Please give me some love in the comment section. Have a nice time and see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.